Oka, how to grow Oxalis tuberosa, agroplants.org, also known as New Zealand Yam. So this plant, it's herbescus geophyte. Uh, it's perennial this year in the summer. It means that the leaves fall in the summer. Uh, the roots, it's edible part. People grow it for the edible roots. Also can grow as an ornamental, but uh, if you grow it, at least enjoy the uh, unique roots. Uh, can grow in variety of climate, uh, temperate, subtropical, or Mediterranean. Uh, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below. There is a link in the right top side. This is a, a donation you can perch. And actually, don't forget to subscribe to check other video because it's help to our channel. So the hardiness zone that you can grow it, it's from three to nine. And actually, uh, I grow it in hardiness zone of ten B. So yeah, it's not amazing here. So the tuber are edible. They are small, pink or ye yellow or white. Uh, they are very beautiful. Uh, the leaves you can have a uh, purple or a uh, green in a heart shape. Mostly it's a uh, it's a greenish, not purple like I don't know. It's green. Okay, let's say agree about the green. Uh, there is other variety of uh, tuber, by the way. So it's triangular. Uh, leaves and the flowers are yellow this is irrelevant so some condition about how to grow it a uh, well-drained soil at least at least cool weather or oh, in the winter uh, here it's catastrophic because the winter it's not cold enough cold winter let's say you can start to grow it uh, mostly by bulbs this is the easiest or just to buy a plant uh, be aware that uh, it's contained acid uh, oxalic acid uh, so it's a little bit don't consume it too much but it's edible and very very tasty uh, plant, planting season so depend where exactly you grow uh, you grow it in which hardiness zone but uh, let's say that in a colder uh, area it will be mostly in the spring to the summer uh, hotter the area will be it will be in the autumn and of course, it's this is in the summer, in the last day of the summer, it's a fall of the start to fall the leaves. You just prune it. There is no point of this, uh, to prune it. it just, you grow it for the roots. If you grow something for the roots, mostly better not to touch the plant. Just let it grow, because all the all the leaves that grow uh, create more and more uh, chlorophyll and other minerals that it get. You know, it's growing and then it absorb all the all the mineral into the tubers and then they are growing so if you cut all the time it just prevent it to really grow the height of the plant will be from 5 to 30 centimeters so it's been like uh, 12 uh, 2 to 12 inches it's a fast growing plant in the right condition and require average to big amount of water it can grow uh, from full sun to full shade but with a lot of light, uh, you can also grow it as a house plant, and that's what I'm doing in the summer here. I put it as a house plant, or just put it actually in the refrigerator because it's too much hot here. Uh, okay, so blooming season will be from the spring, uh, summer, autumn, depend again. So in colder climate will be from the spring to the summer. Hotter climate like here, it's actually blooming in the winter even in the autumn it starts to bloom the first flower after this in the winter and last flowers in the spring uh, the edible roots are uh, harvesting it's in the let's say in the end of the spring when you see all the leaves fall you can harvest it there is no point uh, in the summer it's this use as i said so this is a moment to harvest it you can harvest in the spring to the uh, to the summer you can eat you, you can eat it actually raw uh, in salad or just to make pickle i actually cooked it and i liked it so this is my recommendation for you actually uh, to cook it because i don't know i didn't try it because of the oxalic i saw it, it's maybe better to cook it uh, if you have a recipe always keep uh, leave comment with uh, your recipe to try it 
Uh, so some information about uh, the, the end, let's say. It's not very hard to grow it. You won't see a lot of crops from this. It's not... Uh, you won't have so much. It's not like to grow a sweet potato. You have a lot. Uh, it's unique. Unique flavors. Uh, you can enjoy from this uh, because it's something unique that's mostly uh, very expensive in the market or uh, you cannot barely buy it. And it's something that you should maybe consider to grow in order to make varieties or uh, let's say versities in uh, your garden that you will have some other things and to eat the usual potatoes or something like this. And other kind of fruits. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe. And of course, purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.